Hello and welcome to this demonstration of TunePal HD running on the iPad. So for this demonstration I'm actually running TunePal uh, HD on an iPad um, emulator. So I'm going to start off the program here. TunePal is a search engine for traditional music. It contains a scores to over 16,000 tunes. So when you launch TunePal the first screen that you see is the My Tunes um, screen. And this screen actually shows you previous tunes that you have searched for and downloaded using TunePal HD. So from this screen you can tap on any of the tunes and it brings you into the music score. And there are various different options down here that you could use. Um, but just for now I want to show you this simple option which is to um, press the um, star button. And this actually adds the tunes to your favourites. So when you go back into TunePal, uh, into the My Tunes um, tab, you see that there's a little green star beside the tune. So some of the metadata that you typically see here, you get the title, you get an alternate title if the tune has one, you get the source from where the tune was downloaded. So in this case, this is the session.org website. Down here we see O'Neill's 1001. You get the tune type and you get the key signature. So mostly people use TunePal to search for tunes. So what I'm gonna do here is show you the two ways to search for tunes in TunePal. First of all, you go to the titles tab and you can type in the title of a tune. So I'm gonna search for T-U-B-L-I-N, and you click on search, and TunePal will return um, 100 tunes from the database with the word Dublin in either the title or the alternate title. So, so what's, what we've got here is we've got the first tune, the Books of Dublin, and it actually gives you the um, alternate title in Irish, and it tells you that this is downloaded from Kelrink and Heron Volume 4, and it's a jig in G major. And we get various other tunes there as well, including tunes from the Company of Fifers and Drummers, um, the website the session.org and Heinrich Norbeck's tune book collection So from here what you can do is you can tap on any of the tunes and it brings you in to view the music score So there's various options that you can do with the score and um, the first thing you can do is you can play back the score by hitting the play button Um, the play button then changes to a pause button so you can pause the playback and then resume again you can also tap um, YouTube. I'm gonna maybe pick another tune for this demonstration. Let's go to the Crooked Road to Dublin. And this time I'm gonna hit the YouTube button here. And what it will do is it will do a YouTube search for that tune. And very, uh, very, uh, very often you can find uh, recordings of people playing the tune. So yeah, Crooked Road to Dublin, Cro Crooked Road to Dublin, get lots of um, examples of people playing the tune. You can also uh, tap this button here, which goes and tries to find a discography for that tune. And uh, so it retrieves all of the CD recordings which have um, a tune of that title on it. And then you can tap any one of those to do the search for that particular CD recording in iTunes. So um, this particular tune, um, let's tap this button here. This actually brings you into search for it. Well, this brings you to the original source of the tune on the internet. And this particular tune was downloaded from the website, thesession.org. So thesession.org actually gives you loads of um, metadata about the, the, the tune here. And generally you get very interesting discussions about the tune as well from the website, thesession.org. Next of all, you can tap this button here, which will um, send an email with the tune. So I'm going to delete that draft and you can tap the F button here, which will prompt you to log into Facebook so you can post the tune to your Facebook page. Um, you can also view the original um, ABC uh, source of this tune. So um, what we're going to do now is what I'm going to do is uh, tap the add to my tunes button. And when I add it to my tunes, two other options become available. So first of all, the star option that I previously described. And second of all, this edit option here. So when I tap edit here, it brings me in to edit the ABC notation for this tune. So you can actually go and uh, do live editing of the music score. So if I change that um, to maybe B, B, yeah, two Bs, um, it's actually updated the um, ABC score. Then when I go to save the tune, what happens is if you go back to my tunes, it will actually have created a copy of the tune and um, it puts the source of the tune as TunePal rather than the session.org. So it indicates that it's not the one downloaded from the session.org, it's the one that you've edited. So actually um, you can edit tunes but you can also add tunes to TunePal as well by tapping the edit button here and tapping add tune. And then it brings you into a blank um, sort of a template for the tune and you can just add the music score in there in ABC notation and it updates the tune. So I'm going to call that Brian's tune.
and then tap save. So there's the tunes uh, done there. Okay. The other way to search for tunes in TunePal is to record a phrase um, played on an instrument. So I'm going to tap the record button here and I'm going to play a tune, uh, a 12 second extract from a tune. You can play the A part, the B part or any part of the tune and usually it's able to find a match. So you tap on start. <laughs> So what happens is TunesPal will transcribe that tune and uh, then submit the transcription over the internet to the website tunepal.org to try and find a match from it from the 16,000 in the um, corpus. So it's found this tune as being the boys of 45 and you can tap on that tune, you can play it back to do a proof listen. Again the YouTube search is very often useful here so you can find recordings of other people playing that tune and you can tap on add to my tune so you can store it in your tunes for future reference. When you find a tune in TunePal, um, if your device has a GPS um, it will actually geotag the tune so you can go onto the map tag uh, tab and you can see a Google map um, with all of the tunes you've previously searched for in TunePal. Uh, of course you can disable this um, but there you go, there's the boys of the 45, it gives you the date and time and you can tap that link there which actually brings you in to find the tune that way as well. So tune power works really great for instruments which are in concert pitch but if you want to play a tune which is not on a concert pitch instrument what you do is go to the preferences tab and you change the transcription fundamental. So I'm going to try playing a tune on a uh, F flute here. So I'm going to change the transcription to be uh, fundamental to be F and I'm going to go back and record another query here. So I'm going to go back to record here. You can play any part of the tune um, and TunePal is almost always able to, to find a match for you. So it's found the Dublin Reel in this case and it's actually found several different versions of the Dublin Reel here and interestingly a tune which is titled The Cocktail, it might be worth checking that out. Anyway the Dublin Reel, you can see the transcription of it and you can hit the play button there. And you see that it actually plays back that um, on as if it was played on a D instrument. TunePal also allows you to adjust the playback in various interesting ways. So you can change the instrument that's used to playback um, the melodies. Uh, so I'm going to change that to be harpsichord. You can also adjust the playback speed so you can speed it up or slow it down. And you can also transpose. So I'm going to transpose that up a number of semitones. So let's do eight semitones. Go back into find the previous tune. And uh, now when you play it, you'll hear the difference. So it's playing slower and it's also transposing it as well. So some of the other things you can do, you can actually limit your search to certain um, tune books and um, you can adjust the countdown and um, email all the tunes to yourself. You can delete all of the tunes and uh, then obviously adjust the playback. So this new version of TunePal actually supports uh, the user interface in either English or Irish. So you can go to the preferences screen there and you can change the uh, user interface to be um, into Irish and when you tap yes and relaunch TunePal HD you'll get an Irish language user interface so you get tune and etc. Um, so a couple of last things that we can do here uh, that you can do in TunePal you can go and view the help file for TunePal which uh, strangely doesn't seem to be working or you can view the TunePal blog so the TunePal blog is just a way to keep up with um, you know what's happening in the TunePal world so that concludes my demonstration of uh, TunePal HD for iPad. Uh, um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it.